Facebook, YouTube, Jeffrey Hallows Carpet Cleaning here. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Sean Collins for helping me walk through this. And I hope that um, making this video is going to help out a little bit. Um, as to start out with is analogy um, of the van here. It's not going to get from 0 to 50 miles an hour in like five, under 4 seconds. Um, however, if you extend, let's say, the on-ramp to the freeway, so that I've got like eight or ten seconds to get up to speed well then we don't have a problem and the same is going to be true with your filters think of these as, as pinch points pretend like you are your hose and your line is like this this country road that's cruising around at like 45 50 miles an hour and then all of a sudden you go through one of those speed trap cities where you know you blink and you completely miss it um, that's what the uh, inline filter basically is. So um, what is most common is that people put their, if they're using an inline filter, is that they're putting them right here, right next to their, their truck. And what that's doing is it is creating that pinch point and you're not giving it very much room or an on-ramp to get onto a freeway or to get back up to speed before it goes into the truck. So what this does is it, it's like providing this really long on-ramp so that things can get up to speed once we hit this uh, little speed trap here. So that helps your, your airflow immensely. So um, I haven't actually done this yet. I, I know that I've done it without thinking about it. But now with it in mind, I want to calculate um, airflow and all that sort of stuff going on. I have a feeling... I mean, just doing the math and reasoning and physics and all that, it's going to help it out immensely. Especially when you're dealing with a... Okay, you guys, that's a ProCam Trailblazer. 16 horsepower of raw power. Um, yeah, with the smaller motor, smaller blower and all that, I've really got to uh, milk it for as much as I can milk it for. However, um, it does a very good, sufficient job. It gets you know your water up to 250 degrees um it does that pretty well pretty quickly um the vacuum is great for a single operator you know kind of situation that i'm in um it works great for my purposes you know you do a wet pass followed by a couple dry passes carpets dry two four six hours depending on the type of carpeting airflow and all that sort of stuff so what I'm going to go ahead and do is fire this thing up and then um, begin our, our, our cleaning process and just see how well um, extending this filter and putting out over here. So from what I hear, the closer you can get it to the your wand, the better. However, I don't feel comfortable bringing this thing inside the house because you potentially could be doing with leaks and things like that. However, if you did wrap it in, let's say, a blanket or something, you could probably stick it behind you and have like a 20-foot, you know, lead coming from that, and you'd probably be able to optimize a little bit more airflow. So this little, uh, in conclusion, this little tip, this little trick seems to work really well. So I'm very thankful, again, Sean, for uh, pointing this out to me. Um, again, um, I do have an indoor hose, which is this bright blue hose. It doesn't go outdoors except for just right at the door. And then I've got another hose that runs to my truck. So I keep dirty hoses that are outside outside. So if it's raining and muddy and all that, clean hose goes inside, stays clean. Dirty hose stays outside. And of course, they get wiped down, but... Um, that's just so we're not dragging dirty hoses through. And additionally, just because I'm doing running with a a smaller truck, um, having that extra vacuum actually, uh, I was noticing it was actually causing more vacuum and suction on the carpeting. So it was a little bit stiffer to push the wand around, which means it, it's making more of a seal on the carpet. And at the same time, it's also causing the water to recover and heat up faster because uh, just putting that load on the machine. So you know, I get to squeeze out a little bit of extra juice from all over the place just by putting in 
um, this inline filter. I'll probably look at getting a better one. This is kind of a lower mid-range Mighty Hog or whatever it's called. Um, it does an okay job. However, stepping up to like a silver bullet or you know something even more so than that would probably get me a, a bit more uh, suction you know uh, on the one end as well as helping with rec um, water hot water recovery and all that so if you guys are doing with smaller units or anything like that um, just having this inline filter and and squeezing out as much juice as you can from your equipment will help you out immensely in the long run. So I hope that helps, and you guys have a great day.